and we're live. Well, hello, hello. How's it going, everybody? Oh my goodness, Ned! Another week, another rager. Yeah. We're back on the uh, HD two here at KPFT. Ned, how have you been? How was your week? Oh, I've been good. I've been tired. I've been partying. I'm going to tell you right now, I have been raging. That's great. Yeah. How That's about great. you? How was your week? Um, full of rage. Yeah. Jing. What? Oh. <laughs> I'm not an angry guy. Despite all my rage, I am still raging. Yeah. So. Uh, once again, my name is Connor Clifton, and I'm joined by my lovely co-host, Ned Gale. My name's Ned Gale. And Very you, lovely. You are listening to FM Rager wow. here on KPFT. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, uh, either here listening to the HD2 stream or uh, on Facebook Live. Hey, guys, don't be afraid to check that HD2 stream. It's good for our numbers, and we're number crazy. Yeah. We're like that guy from Pi. Yeah, or any scientist in a movie about a natural <laughs> No, nope, just the guy from Pi. <laughs> guys, check out the movie Pi. It's in theater 20, 20 years ago. <laughs> What a! Uh, there's another movie where a guy's obsessed with numbers. Oh, Jim Carrey. He was obsessed. with oh, 23. Number, 23. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it close? To, uh, I haven't seen it, but I've seen Pi. Is it, is uh, it I was thing? 23 at one point, so I think it's something like that. It's like three going on to 23. I think is what the movie's called. No, that's <laughs> geez. 13 going on to 23. 13 going on 30. That's a uh, Zac Efron, right? No. Sure. No, it was uh, Jennifer Garner. Yep. Yeah. yeah I'm seeing some nods. Yeah. Getting a nod. Yeah. Hey, you're tuning into movie chat. We're talking about movies we've never seen. Yeah. Welcome to <laughs> blind movie chat. Yeah. Oh uh, man, have you seen uh, Pacific Rim Uprising? No, I, I haven't. haven't. Me neither. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> Guys, call in if you haven't seen Pacific Rim. Uh, uh yeah, I, I think we finally have figured out like how to take calls. You're maybe? saying that as if we've like tried something since then. We've <laughs> taken a call. We have taken a call. On our first one. That's true, yeah. 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 So we'll see if we can uh, figure out what's going on. For we'll see how that goes. One. So you said you were raging this weekend. Uh, Where were yeah. you raging? How were you raging? Tell me about this rage, because that's what the show's about, frankly. Uh, well, you know, I was raging with you. Oh, what? Well, <laughs> oh, I'm going to what? Yeah. We, uh, Talk about a pie-style twist. There's a <laughs> twist in that movie. I've never seen it. <laughs> All right. So on Friday, we hung out at the house and played Quiplash. Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. right. Ned and I live together. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> uh, so we just hung out, played Quiplash, drank mm -hmm. some beers, all sure. from local breweries, because that's what we're about. <laughs> toot, toot, toot. Get that import out of here, baby. Yeah. I just want it domesticated right in my fridge. <laughs> I don't want to drive more than two miles to get beer. Darn right. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we played Quiplash for quite a while. We played Quiplash well into the night, and we were playing before you even got there, and so it was, it was a, a lashed out night. For the people who don't know what Quiplash is, Ned, could you tell them? It's kind of like Pacific Rim. Now, I haven't seen the movie, <laughs> but the way Pacific Rim worked, from my understanding, is that people would give you prompts, you would try to answer those prompts in a funny way, unbeknownst to the other people around you. You're answering these prompts privately. And then your answers are thrown onto a TV in front of everybody, and everyone votes on the best one. It sounds like it's real tough and real scary, but it's real fun. It's very, And very not fun. scary. I, I really did not want to play. <laughs> they told me about it like a week in advance. I'm like, oh, man, that sounds oh, really crud. dumb. Yeah. Uh, but I had a blast. Uh, the thing about Quiplash is that... All it takes to have a really good time is throw some new blood in there. Yeah. If you get yeah. someone you've never played with before, you're going to have a real good time. You don't know what audience you're playing for anymore. Just like for the radio show, or we don't know who we're uh, talking to. We don't know our audience right now. So if you are our audience, go ahead and call in. Yeah. And uh, I don't know about you, but I'm talking to you. Oh. <laughs> and you're talking to me. It's true. Uh, and and Alyssa has to listen to us. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get to our guest, Alyssa, in just a little bit here. But again, we got to finish up what we did this weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so so Friday night was a lash crazy night, uh, uh -huh. and then Saturday was Cinco de Mayo. Oh yeah, and we did not celebrate. No, we did not. Uh, I didn't realize it was Saturday. Actually, when we were talking about it on the way here, I thought it was on Friday. Oh boy, <laughs> I was going to tell a story no, about that's accidentally. Cinco de made, oh, uh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, accidentally made some nachos that day. Wait a second, Cinco de. Never mind. <laughs> Five four. Uh, yeah, so you made nachos. Yeah, I made Cinco nachos that day, but it was on Cinco de Cuatro. Yeah. It, once again, 5-4. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, made nachos. Didn't realize it was it was near a, a day when that would be s somewhat appropriate. I don't even think it's appropriate. It's just, I just, nachos no, are appropriate, appropriate and inappropriating. Yeah, yeah that's I what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, Which one do they do in Pacific Rim? 
I, I haven't seen it. Yeah, me neither. I haven't seen it. Uh, I don't get the reference. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we didn't really do the the Cinco de Mayo thing that, mm-hmm. um, you know, we were told not to do on Facebook. <laughs> so check for us. What did we do? We did do something. We um, were very efficient. We did film a video. Yes. And we went to Double Trouble a little bit. Mm-hmm. And we edited the video yes. a little bit, and we edited the video uh, yes tomorrow yesterday. Yeah, until we edit it tomorrow yeah. when it airs. We've been <laughs> editing it. And Ned, do you know what this video is for? Uh, I don't know what it's for. Do you know what it's for? Yes, because I'm not dumb, and oh, I've been paying uh, attention to what we've been <laughs> doing. Uh, this video is one of the videos that we show at the beginning of our stage show called FN Rager, which is going to be- <laughs> That is tom- not the letters FN. <laughs> yeah. FN. FN. Uh, and that's going to be tomorrow night at PJ's at- 8 p.m. 8, 8 p.m. Yeah. That's when the doors open. Ned, who are our guests tomorrow? Tomorrow night, we're going to be interviewing Ruth Hirsch and John Wayne Caminale. Oh, my God. Two fantastic friends. I'm so excited to- They are so funny. They're so fun to hang out with. And you know John Wayne's got some killer party stuff. Oh, that boy knows how to party. In fact, speaking of John Wayne, he just had a new album come out uh, with his band, John Wayne is Dead. And we're going to be playing some tracks from that album later on in the show. I don't know about you, but I'm I'm excited. Sure. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, please come on out. And, you know, if you call in, you just might win some free tickets to this show that is pay what you can. Yeah, the show, once again, 8 p.m., pay what you can. But if you call in right now, you can get free tickets to our show. How exciting is that? And uh, why don't we check and see if anyone called in? Uh, nope. Nope. Not sounding yet. like nothing. All right. <laughs> Well, we'll you know we'll we'll check momentarily. Uh, we don't know when the phone's ringing, so we'll just check every now and then to see if anybody's calling. Now, Ned, before we move on with the show, we were asked a very crucial question after last week's show. Oh no! And it wasn't why are you doing oh, this? No, here or, it is. Like my parents, does it make any money? No, we were asked a much more important <sighs> question. This which, question has been haunting me for days. Oh my gosh, I can't stop thinking about it. An entire week, it. and that is, what is a party? How do you define a party? I don't know. Now, because I don't know how to define a party because I thought I knew. Well, what was, until what? the question was asked? I don't know. That's why I couldn't say it. I had nothing. Nothing was coming out of my mouth because mm. it's like, what? What is a party? Is it multiple people? Our lights are blinking over there. Oh my Does that goodness! Mean people are calling. Uh, yeah, punch one of those and come. Oh, no, no, it's looking like nothing. What? What are those buttons down there that are blinking? Is that something? Uh, <laughs> Welcome back to the show, the call show, where we don't know how the calls work. You can call <laughs> us names online. Check out our Facebook live stream yeah. to insult us. Yeah, that's a much more reliable way to ensure that we get your comments. <laughs> so uh, when we were asked what is a party, it, it started to become like, oh, is it just about how many people are there? No, not necessarily, because. A party can have nobody show up, and it's just a bad party or a mm-hmm. bummer party, like a birthday party where none of your guests arrive. That's a bad party. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that's still a party. It's still a party, yeah. and it could even be a good party if you're like, "Hey, party at one." I'm gonna, I'm feeling my time. Sure, okay. sure. And if it's your birthday, you can cry if you want to. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 uh. All right. Uh, so, and then there's also, you know, like political parties and mm-hmm. parties at a restaurant. Now, is that the same kind of party? Is that the kind of party where we're we're tooting here you know <laughs> what <laughs> i was gonna say pitching but we're not really pitching a party so i said tooting okay get over it all right, all right. <laughs> it's a party of words coming to my mouth Oof. uh yeah a political party is just you know a group of people saying like mm, yeah we're a party mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We, we have a little like-minded ideas but that's what i'm saying is that the same kind of party or is that a different party it's, it's like ben party. and ben you know they're two different things yeah. one's a guy i know and the other's a box the... that i throw papers into <laughs> oh okay well uh, all parties are spelled the same mm-hmm. uh but you know we we've got all kinds of different things that you can do because there's also as somebody pointed out to us what's the difference between a party and a gathering Ooh. and what i think it is is it just magic is that the difference magics are gatherings uh, it's a card game guys look it up get out of here <laughs> i think that what it comes down to is the mindset that you have mm-hmm. if you think like this is a party like, you know, we've got our friend Billy. He commonly calls himself a one-man party machine. I know you've never heard it. No one else has, but I've heard him say it multiple times. I mean, it is tattooed on his armpit. Oh, yeah, yeah. He just got to shave yeah, away. He raises his hands up and then one-man party machine <laughs> initiated. 
So, yeah, I, I think that what makes a party is just the attitude you have. Because mm-hmm. it could be, we also talked about what needs to be there. Is it music? Is it uh, a, a keg or just beer? Uh, garbage can punch? See, all those things just seem like party modifiers. I think it's the mindset that defines the party. Yep. If you think it's a party, it's a party after that. And it could be a good party, bad party, political party, sure, uh, sure. pity party. But the problem is, is I want to be able to tell someone that's not a party. I want to be that. <laughs> That guy who can tell somebody that so i need set specifications so i can call people on their stuff all right well speaking of calls let's go to the line see if anyone has anything they'd like to say nope still nobody are those calling. beeping are those nothing i just see beeping things i can't see anything from here my it glasses says, aren't it, that exciting it says busy all flash new <laughs> so no <laughs> okay Yeah, we're still not getting any calls. Oh, the number. Okay, so the phone number is 713-526-8737. All right, we just said it. Let me see if we've got anybody. Hang on. Damn it. Still nobody. All right. Well, um, we're just going to keep checking momentarily to see if anybody calls in. Sure, sure. I mean, the the ideal situation is we go to it and it's dead silent. The ideal situation is that one person calls... And they talk for the entire hour, so I don't have to talk to you anymore. Uh, That's a party. No, no, no. This isn't. This isn't <laughs> where we start being antagonistic towards each other. We're in this for the long haul. Sure, sure. And we also have to go home after this. Now, and... a long haul is that a party? <laughs> Depends on what you're hauling, dog. I'll go. Nice. Um, but yes, probably. You know. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we've we've had like little dance parties in cars. Mm-hmm, We're just like, mm-hmm. ooh, road trip. Is that an official party? Do you define that as a party? A dance party in a car? Dude, is that a party? I show up. That's a party. See, that's the that is the annoying thing that you're saying, and it's not helping me call people <laughs> on what's a party or not. I really do just think that what is a- what is not a party. Let's say that. Let's start with that. What is not a party? Uh, There's three baby people. showers. I don't care what anyone says. They're <laughs> not that fun. Not a party. And it's not cool to see grandma like carry toilet paper in between her legs. It's not fun. It's sad. And she's really slow. Sure. It's hot, but it's not a party. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I just think that if people are hanging out, getting drunk. Well, no, not even D- getting drunk. You don't even need substance. Yeah, because yeah. Christian parties, which are boring, uh, they Whoa. don't... Oh! No, it's like, let's all hang out and sing Milan together. <laughs> Snoozer. I don't want to go to you that. You know, it's just a theater party, right? <laughs> Yo, yeah, yeah, you're right. High school theater party, mm-hmm. at least. No, uh, I guess that, you know, we've gone to parties that are bad parties. Mm-hmm. We've gone to parties that are great parties. Oh, yeah. We've gone to parties that we say, we got to get out of this farty party because it smells, my dear boy. Mm-hmm. We got to get out of mm-hmm. here. And we're, we're, we're whiffing away gases from our nose as we <laughs> run out the door. Yeah, P.U., not for me. <laughs> Yuck, blech. Um, but the answer to my question is, I don't know. I don't know what a party is. <laughs> I what really I'm don't. Saying, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're getting a call. Hell, oh, we, we do have an actual call. This is good news. Hi, you are on FM Rager. I think you got to pick up the phone. Uh, wait. Right? Can you hear us? Are you there? Hello? Hello? Oh, we got it. We got hey. it. Hey, what, what's your name? What's going on? There's a lot of commotion. Y- yes. <laughs> sure, there's commotion. It's a party in here. Oh, okay. So, uh, can I get your name, sir? Bill. Oh, hey, Bill. How's it Bill. going? How you doing, Bill? How's it going? How are you? I'm We're- doing fantastic. Are you raging tonight, Bill? Oh, yeah, my wife's here. We're raging. Uh, we're grilling some fajitas on the grill. Yeah. Uh, that that sounds like so. That in this party, there are two parties. Wait, is there just two of you? Is it just you and your wife? Uh, it's me, my wife, Gail, uh, my friend, Steve, uh, my cousin, Jim, uh, his wife, Claire. So there's five people. So there's the five people, and there's fajitas. Are you listening to any music over there? No, it's a party of five. We've been listening to your radio show for the last uh, fifteen minutes now. Woo! All right, that, in my eyes, that's a party. That is definitely a party, guys. If you're listening to this radio station alone or with a crowd of people, you are definitely partying. So, Bill, why don't you tell us what do you think defines a party? Oh, you know, when I think of party, you know. I think of friends and family having a good time. Uh, we bless our food. We may have a couple of uh, adult beverages. <laughs> okay. Oh, sure. Yeah. How do you, you bless? Know, some seagrams 
a nice Zima. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> All right. Yeah. It sounds like you guys really know how to party. Yeah. Zima the crop. Well, yeah. uh, can you can you tell us how, how do you bless your food? I'm sorry? How do you bless your food? You said that you bless your food? How are you going to bless oh, yeah, those gotta fajitas? Bless your food. you got to give up your offerings to the Lord Jesus Christ, little baby. Oh, well, okay. Well, well right. let's not hey, get look, too wild no here. No calls to action, yeah. buddy. Don't convert anybody. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to convert. I'm just, this is how I do it. This is how I do my blessing every time. It's, dear Lord God, my little baby Jesus, please okay. bless this wonderful food. Do not All let right. the germs touch the food. Please let us enjoy this food and not get sick from this food. That's a good call. Mm-hmm. That's the whole blessing. Oh, oh wonderful. Okay. And All right. Well, Bill. A, a man's or a two, man's. two men. Well, there's five men's at this point. Five party. men. So, Bill, uh, thank you very much for calling in. We're going to have to cut this short, but do you have any parting messages for our listeners out there? Uh, you know, just uh, as long as you're doing it responsibly and you don't offer any alcoholic beverages to children, I think you're doing okay. That's good. We that never do. Wonderful. I don't even bum cigarettes to people without asking for their IDs. Like, that's how much of a thick word for the rules I am. You're All a right. good man. Thank you, Bill. You're a good man, too. Thanks for calling in. Party on. Wow. wow. We do know how to use the phones. Yeah. <laughs> Take that, our haters. <laughs> yeah. Attention haters. Oh, my goodness. That felt good. It felt good to take a phone. I want to take another one. so hey, wonderful. If who any, wants to call it? Bill, if you want to call back or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to call right back. Could you hear that out in the speaker or did you just hear us talking? Okay. Thank goodness. I was <laughs> trying to think about what the Facebook Live sounded like. Everyone's oh, like, you couldn't hear that out of the speaker? Oh, okay. <laughs> Mercy Lord. Okay. Well. <laughs> All right. Well, if you were on Facebook Live, we totally got a call. Guys, this great. is why you got to check in on KPFT dot org slash listen to listen to the HD2 stream and hear this in all of its wonderful HD quality. Oh, we're getting another call? Another phone call? Oh, Are you kidding me? This is a phone party now. Hello, you're on FM Rager. Hello. 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 How's it going? Good, how's it Good. going? Good, how are you? Hey, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Y'all partying over there? Yeah, yeah, we are. Are you on speakerphone right now? It sounds like you're pretty far away. I I'm far away from the from the phone? Yeah, yeah. Could you get a little closer? I'm as close as possible. It's right by my head. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> so you're having a phone head party. What's going on? Here's the thing, guys. I'm watching on Facebook Live, and no, and nobody can uh, can, can hear the guests that are calling in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We we know. We're trying to figure that out. Oh, uh, okay. Um, update you guys. I've been trying to communicate via the comment. Uh, the, the comment portion, but no one's interacting with me. So. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> well, listen to the people. We we just got another call from. What's your name? My name is Jack. Oh, hey Jack. Uh, from Jack, and uh, we're we can totally hear him. It's a it's a it's a baby steps. All right, we've we figured out how to take the call, and now we just got to figure out how to put the calls. Through the speakers. We're getting there slowly, but we're definitely oh getting there. We're a bunch well, of clowns. I'm, I'm very proud of the improvements you guys have already made. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I'm proud of you guys. Keep going. I, I just wanted to give you updates as they're going, but, you know, Godspeed and I love y'all. Well, All Jack, right? I really appreciate it. You're putting the Facebook Live listeners in silence right now. All righty. Well, um, thanks a lot, Jack. Oh, boy, uh, we're, uh, yeah, we're just still trying to figure out how all this stuff goes and how it all works. Um, but, hey, at least we've been able to take a call. Yeah, absolutely, and it's been wonderful. And you know what? You mentioned that John Wayne, our buddy John Wayne Caminale and his band, John Wayne is Dead, uh, has a couple of new songs. So why don't you go ahead and just uh, play those, and we'll uh, we'll come back with our guest soon enough.
Wow, we what a punk rock explosion. Yeah, that was great. And that was uh, our buddy John Wayne Communale. And uh, the song that we just heard was Buddy Holly. And the one before that was called I Told You So. I Told You So. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic one. Oh, my goodness. Well, he's uh, he's <laughs> so talented. I love that boy. I love yeah, that boy yeah. so much. A rocker, a partier, true rager, my friends. All righty. Ned, I want to go ahead and get to the interview portion of the show here. This guest that we have today mm-hmm. is so funny. She's written for Grown Up Storytime here in town. She has told multiple stories at the Moth and has been named champion how many times? Four times. Four times. Oh, my goodness. And you just recently did the Moth Grand Slam, right? I did. Last Wednesday. It was awesome. Holy moly. What a rager. What a rager. Let's stop bragging about what she's done and tell everyone her name. Please give it up for Alyssa Ladd, everybody. Thank you for Thanks coming for on the show. Thanks for having me, guys. Alyssa. Absolutely. All right, Alyssa, you're a partier. Oh, yeah. Do you have <laughs> any thoughts on what we were saying about what is and isn't a party? I think you need an occasion to celebrate. You need to have a theme of the party. Ooh. It could just be the fact that it's Monday. You have to have a reason to celebrate. You know what? Funny you should say that because that's the exact reason why we started F and Rager. Like, just because it's a Tuesday doesn't mean you can't party responsibly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So, yeah, I, I, I would agree with that definition for sure. I like that. So, you ha- to, so to party, there has to be intention. There has to be a reason. Yep. Okay. 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 Men's right. rea, we'd call that in the law. <laughs> Men's rea. Men's rea? Men, S- not, not necessary, just optional. Oh. Uh, okay. Wait. How do you know so much about law speak? I don't know. Oh. You got in a lot of trouble with the cops. <laughs> a lot of trouble with the cops. Oh, no. Too much partying. All right. So, Alyssa, I love your stories. They always uh, are very exciting, enticing, and full of fun misadventures and goofs and gaffs and lots of laughs. So, Alyssa, please tell us have you gotten any cool party stories from this past week? Um, well,. There's a difference between writing a story in which I can submit it anonymously and one telling you here on the radio uh, <laughs> yes, yes, in yes, which yes. we have lots of family listeners. Um, oh, past... is your family tuning in? Oh, God, I, no, I hope not. Uh, <laughs> we need the numbers. <laughs> oh, this past weekend, I went to many festivals and parties. I went to the Polish festival Ooh. Uh, on Saturday, ate lots of pierogi Ooh. and uh, sausage and cabbage rolls, saw a lot of Polish dancing. It was quite quite the rager. <laughs> I also did go to a Cinco de Mayo party. Well, it's a now, get-together. wait, let's pull the, the reins back here. A festival. That's right. Is that a party? No, it's a festival. So what separates a festival from a party? Is it just like tents? There were tents. There was admi- admission. There okay, were, uh, admission. Cultural okay, okay. dancers. Yeah, party, no, <laughs> I think it's really the one cool. thing. Cultural yeah. dancer is the, is the yeah. flip of the switch. Yeah, yeah, we don't really have those at many parties. <laughs> Uh, okay, so you went to uh, a Polish festival, and then you did Cinco de Mayo. Just hitting all the cultural hotspots. <laughs> awesome. awesome. But that's the thing but about Houston. We didn't dress up. We just It was just like six of us eating guacamole and drinking margaritas, which is not unlike other Saturday nights. You know, it wasn't... Yeah. Hey, you know, I'm not an authority on this, all right? I'm not, I'm not, uh, this is not my table. I'm not, I'm not getting involved in this. At my age, it's a get-together. It's not a party. There was just six of us. So I think you were saying a gathering Whoa, versus wait, a party. Whoa, wait, a get-together a versus get-together. a party. Wait, but hang on a second. Yeah. But you also said at your age. I don't believe that we're that far apart. Are Ned and I old heads? Are we, are we past our prime? No, you're young heads. Oh, thank oh, God. Goodness. Oh. You hear Woo. that, radio haters? We're still young. We still got our whole lives ahead of us. Lots of parties. We got a whole year of our lives ahead of us. So what's the energy that separates the get together from the party then? Or wh- did you just wake up one day and we're like, no more parties. Party's over. Well, there were six of us and it was at someone's very nice dining room table and they had spent a lot of the afternoon making a, you know, I think you say it, canapes? Is that how you say, like, fancy appetizers? You're you know? asking the wrong these people are, how to say this fancy stuff. These are things stuff. you do when you're 30. These I are thought, not things you do when you're, are you guys 25? I th- uh, I'm 28. <laughs> uh, I'm 22. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I honestly thought that fancy appetizers were called aperitifs, but now I'm learning. No, they're hors d'oeuvres. Aperitif is a drink. That's a, drink. <sighs> That's a pre-dinner drink. Oh, my goodness. I don't, I don't yeah. I, wait, is antipasto... Is that, that's appetizer in Italian. I thought that just meant no pasta. <laughs> Do you yeah. know also poo-poo means 
appetizer like in Hawaiian. Like, okay, well, let's try not to use that language on the radio. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to call <laughs> shenanigans <laughs> on that one. That's fake. <laughs> poo poo. Oh, my God. Hey, let's stop I saying it on the radio, fire. guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's kick it off. Do you have any great party stories from not just this past weekend, from, uh, you know, back before you only did get together? <laughs> <laughs> there was this awesome party I went to a few years ago, uh, a joint 30th birthday party at the Dunleavy here in Houston. And uh, it was the throwback 90s party. So they had a, a station where people um, put your hair in butterfly clips and sprayed glitter in it. Ooh. And everyone was dressed up in 90s gear. And then the birthday girl got on stage and her sister said... No, she was turning 90? That's why it was a 90s party? She was party? turning 90. Okay. <laughs> and she said, what's your favorite song from the 90s? And she said, I don't know, like, This Is How We Do It by Montel Jordan. And then he came out and sang the what? song. <laughs> like, what if she'd said something else? I think they Who had... Who did they have back there? They had 10 different artists and a body of Kurt Cobain, just in case. Yeah, now and... that's what I call 90s, the <laughs> yeah. entire lineup. Uh, oof. But Wait, who, say... who sang the song? Montel Jordan. Jordan. I was in Montel Williams. I don't. Like, I had to look it up because I forget the yeah. difference. So, She's like tub thumping. It's like, well, <laughs> here's Montel Jordan singing tub thumping. <laughs> Montel Jordan had a um, a conversion, and now he changed all the words about ladies in his songs to words about God, which is a really funny. You can't always just insert. You can't just flip that. It I like always that work. he didn't bother to write new music. He's like, I am reborn, and thus. Yeah. Revising. Yeah, he's the George <laughs> Lucas of rap. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, this has a lot of references to Christ. Could and you more imagine 80s. if George Lucas became like super born again and he just went back and did another cut of Star Wars, but it was all like a bunch of Jesus is just added in? <laughs> Uh, I, yeah, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark is like none of that magic mumbo jumbo. <laughs> well, I, I mean, Raiders of the Lost Ark is about it the is Bible. about Christian. Yeah, yeah. So you chose the wrong. Uh, at least the Old Testament, uh, Temple of Doom. Yeah, yeah. There we go, Christy Ma, Christy Ma, <laughs> or whatever that would say. Uh, all right, so that party, that '90s party, that was uh, sounds like a hit. It was pretty cool. I had some cool Doc Martin boots on. Yeah, just throwing it back. They weighed like five pounds each. Oh. <laughs> And a choker. It was great. It was great. I, I've never owned a pair of Doc Martens, but I did go to South by Southwest this year, and I went to the Doc Martens tent to see a rock and roll band, and they were just selling shoes. Uh, <laughs> and I thought that was fantastic. Instead of a band? I mean, there was a band playing. You know, yeah, the band was selling shoes. <laughs> yeah. We need gas money. Please buy our shoes. I, I didn't. wasn't allowed to have Doc Martens as a kid because they were too expensive. So I had like the oh. Mervins knockoff that Mervins <laughs> were Velcro. They're not even close, but they're <laughs> knockoff Doc Martens. Uh, what what age is uh, too old to be wearing Velcro shoes? When, oh, when they're, you, they're the you... gap. They're the gap because they, yes, I know. I buy them at the around. gap, but no, you 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 can wear them when you're young. And then you can wear them anytime, but you're going to get made fun of. Yeah. And then once you hit a certain point where you're like, my back, my sciatica, then they're like, all right, here are your Velcro shoes. So it's within 10 years of diapers? Is that like the, the general span of it? I, you know. The bell curve. Plus or minus. If yeah. anybody wants to buy me Velcro shoes, I'll wear them. If anyone I'm wants to buy me a Velcro diaper, I'll wear it. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of tying my shoes. I waste so much time tying and untying my shoes. Yeah. And I, yeah, I do the Velcro. I, I just slip them on after. How do you put on your shoes? They're already tied. Yeah, I don't. They're already tied. You slip them. right yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. I'll retie every once in a while just to like fix my life. But other than that, right, they can get, to control, of, they yeah. get control of your life. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I'm going off the rails. I better retie my. <laughs> better do a double knot this time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you had that '90s party, and you got to wear your your Mervins. No, you had Mervins as a kid. I I don't know. I don't even know what Doc Martens are. Boots. Yeah. Big like, boots. Yeah. Honestly, I thought Devo was associated with Doc Martin. What? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know shoes. Devote more time just researching shoes, buddy. No, I'm I, slipping over my words. This you isn't know even me. good. The shoes I'm wearing right now, I got them for a steal at the Sears when it was closing down. So I am, uh, <laughs> I'm not really a shoeman. So wait, a '90s party, fantastic. I loved theme parties. Have you been to a lot of theme parties? And do you have a favorite theme? Um. Yes, and I hope I can say this on the air, but we had an, an ABC party oh, oh, when, I yeah. turned, when I turned 21 if I make a house in college, anything but clothes party. It yeah. really gets the creative the creative juices flowing. We, see what comes yeah, out. sometimes like, you get the creative juices flowing. A lot of I, I don't know. Other times? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know if we talked about this on uh, the radio show or the live show at one time, but I did one of those, and I just wrapped my body completely in saran wrap. 
not thinking about like what that does for my sweat. <laughs> so it's I just also immediately totally see through. So what? I had underwear under it. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, that's, we, we did talk about it. We talked about, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And I just ended up sweating my body like out immediately. It was I, bad. I wore a potato sack. <laughs> that was what I wore. An because actual I potato sack. Yeah, because I couldn't find a barrel with suspenders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I've been to a couple. One of them I wore um, an egg egg carton and some newspaper, and then <laughs> um, as a skirt. And then uh, yeah. the other time I wore coffee filters. And, Ooh. Uh, yeah, it was a, a law school themed one where it was coffee filters and then pa uh, pages from my notes that I had made into a skirt. <laughs> now, this also Did you need those notes the next day? No, they were. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Now, Thank goodness. This begs the question we already talked about what is a party? What is clothes? Like, I mean, it, it's <laughs> oh, just what you're wearing, right? I mean, it, the moment you put it on, anything but clothes becomes clothes. I That's it. Anything on your body is closed. Case closed. I would be such an insufferable person at your law school parties. <laughs> uh, you wouldn't be the worst. Uh, yes. <laughs> Woo! Not the worst. I'll take Not it. Not the worst. <laughs> All right. So you've done the ABC parties. What other theme parties have you done? Uh, there was a party at work a while ago, and it was um, called a white party just because you push a wear white. Oh, uh, I know, I know. Uh, it's like white linen night, but just a different night. That was like the fanciest, <laughs> bougiest party I've ever been to. I hope that was the description on it. It's like white linen night, but just a different night. No, it wasn't even clarified. It was just like, it's a white party. <laughs> That's all they said? Yeah. Jeez Louise. Oh, man. So wait, when you get there, there is like a, a full like white curtain and a bell um, like one that you like pull and it like dings and it says ring the bell and so you just you just ring the bell and all of a sudden a hand appears through the curtain no. and it gives you champagne <laughs> when you ring a bell it's out of a wall it's like for no reason it makes no sense what intern did you force to go through that hell right then you go it's, inside it's not even against the hallway it's against a wall <laughs> you're just there like flat against the wall pouring champagne like <laughs> then you go inside and there's ladies like dancing from the ceiling on with like scarves and i was it was Whoa. completely it was unreal i don't know why we why this happened <laughs> yeah lawyers do make a lot of money and they got to spend it on something that's the thing there was just the intention to party and they did and yeah. that made it a they party went they leaned the real only deep reason into it. was to do it yeah now let's talk let's go back to the childhood do you remember your first party and uh, we can talk about birthday parties or we can talk about party parties. first party you remember yeah i will say I just read an article recently that Magic Island here on Shepherd is getting renovated, and I had like my sixth or seventh birthday party at Magic Island as a child, and it was the bomb. dot com. That sounds. What 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 was the magic trick you remember from that? I don't. I remember eating. Um, it was very fancy, and it was like we did not belong there at all. And they somehow let us in, and we ate fettuccine alfredo, and then they did card tricks in front of us, and there were a lot of scantily clad ladies, and it was not Ooh. a place for seven-year-old girls yeah. to be hanging out. <laughs> Nothing fancier than card tricks and fettuccine alfredo. <laughs> Sounds like wow. you guys played a card trick using your IDs <laughs> <laughs> to get in. Uh, <laughs> all right. So you remember the Magic Island? I am very excited for it to come back. I never got a chance to go. So, so they're they're renovating it to reuse it. Is it is that the idea? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think. Wow. Yeah. I've Magic wanted to break in for years and see what they've got. Because <laughs> someone did break in, and the pictures, the pictures are, very, are creepy. Yeah, they're so haunting. Oh, I haven't seen that. Yeah, there's just a bunch of dead magicians. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't know if they're dead or it's a very long trick. Oh! <laughs> what if they, yeah, what if someone walked in there so and it was just ten tigers like roaming and like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so that when was... was your first party, Connor. What do you remember? Oh man, my first. <laughs> Let's see. My first uh, birthday party I can remember uh, was it was a, a bowling party, and uh, it was the first birthday party after my parents got divorced. <laughs> and so uh, my dad gosh. just showed. Yeah, Strike out. Uh, hey, remember the nineties? I did because my parents got divorced. <laughs> uh, so my dad just shows up with a present. And my mom had successfully gotten all the women to hate him. And so he's like, oh, hey. And they're like, oh, hi, Mike. And he's like, well, uh, I'm going to go back to my apartment with an empty fridge. And uh, I was like, okay, bye, Dad. Because, you know, I was bowling. It's not a... It's, yeah, you're not going to stop. They don't put bumpers up for anybody. you got to take advantage of this time frame you've oh, got. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you needed some emotional bumpers is what I'm hearing. Oh, <laughs> life has no bumpers. Sorry, Dad, but you got to get a strike. Uh, and then my first party party, um, 
uh, maybe like my senior year of high school. I didn't really. <laughs> oh, cool kid, bragging. See, see that's bragging. the thing. Is in high no, school. I didn't get invited to any. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Until finally, when I was in theater, and I got invited to a theater party. I've always sucked. wanted to go to theater parties in high school, and I wasn't in oh, theater, no. but I just thought they looked so cool. They're not. Uh, okay, our theater well, parties were very cool no. because we were very cool. <laughs> no, you weren't. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna call it. You weren't, and they're not. You mm. a theater party. Is uh, when, at a normal party when people get drunk they like act drunk and at a theater party party they have one drink like oh I'm I'm simply pissed I'm <laughs> sloshed uh, I'm a me, souse me thinks Dionysus doth pour too much in my mouth and, <laughs> and people call him libation yeah, he like drink, <laughs> and you're like wow theater sucks <laughs> yeah no theater parties are not fun now modern theater parties. Pretty similar, but a lot less sing along. I think you just meant parties based on modern theater. <laughs> it's like now there are some playwrights. <laughs> uh, so yeah, if you want to go to a theater party, make friends with actors at like Main Street or something, and ask to go to the cast party. Uh, yeah, date an actor, <laughs> then you can like go to all the theater parties you want. But hey, if you can't Honor afford that, just break your advice. arm and go to a cast party. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the first party. Uh, first party. We talked about this on the first episode. The first I can remember was uh, Chuck E. Cheese's. Uh, so I'm going to skip over that one. But I remember having frequent pool parties at the public pool, oh, yeah. which is which is really tough because you can't really like have your party there. You no. know what I mean? Like everyone's still doing their things. Like many class parties there. Yeah, oh, yeah. I definitely yeah. remember. So I remember eating some like peanut butter sandwiches next to the water and thinking like, this is cool. This is living. This is six. No <laughs> wonder you thought that theater was cool. <laughs> I'm like, getting flashbacks of like someone had a raft in the pool and I tried to come up for air underneath the raft oh. and thought that I was dying. So my first near death experience was at a public pool party. Yikes. Ugh. Ugh, I've had that at Schlitterbahn a lot. I'll be like in the lazy river and go underwater and just be like, God, there's people holding hands with tubes. <laughs> You're just like, <laughs> can't get out of it. Ooh, bummer. Eh, I don't like the pools. Uh, you don't like water wet? parks? I, I, I cannot do water parks or You can't do pools. water parks? I mean, I could technically. Well, obviously. But like, <laughs> I don't like being around big public pools and you don't know who's peeing in them oh whatever no Just i've got a human thing about soup it. you it's drink like out of water fountains. you don't know who's pee pees in that Th no one's no one's <laughs> peeing in a water that's fountain. wrong uncle sam's pee pee <laughs> No, uh, fluoride. <laughs> no, I, I, I just can't. I get really grossed out by it, and I, I don't like going into a thing where 98% of the time you're going to pull up a Band-Aid, and it's Ugh. so disgusting. Yeah. Oh, oh, uh, but I thought you guys loved pools. You sound so grossed out now. I sound grossed out. I will still go to a water park before the year is over. <laughs> Maybe even four. Uh, can you name four water parks? I only Schlitterbahn, know. Schlitterbahn, Schlitterbahn, and Waterworld. <laughs> There are three Schlitterbahns within four hours of here. What about Splashtown? No. Oh, wow. No, I've been to Splash. I, I meant Splashtown over Waterworld. Waterworld's not a thing anymore, right? That was former Astro. That was World. part of Six Flags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Splashtown, whatever. Yeah, yeah it's gone. <laughs> All right, yeah, I, I, I guess they're the cool. Did you ever do like the roller rink parties? Oh, yeah. Ooh, man. Yeah, yeah. big yeah. time. Any kids break their wrists during those? <laughs> Ice skating, I had, there was a wrist break, but not a. Not Your wrist or somebody nope, else's? Nope, okay, good. <laughs> nope, nope. I Did knocked it down real wrist? good. Yeah. I broke their wrist. <laughs> oh, man. Wouldn't skate with me during the couple's dance, and I was like, this is it. Oh, Broken wrist. Yeah, I'll give you a couple of wrists. <laughs> Uh, yeah, breaking one in half. Yeah, I yeah, guess you already have a couple of wrists. So, uh, Guys, call in if you have a better idea of how to yeah, do this show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't get to talk to the last one. It's All right. like, it's Again, kind of real cool. Our phone number is 713-526-8737. We were told that... Uh, I think people are calling 537, and I bet that's the way that's happening is because that's what I wrote on the uh, Facebook video, and I'm looking at it right now and feeling like a real dum-dum. <laughs> really? Yeah. I think that's the number I got from their website that's or not something. That number. Yeah, they're different. Guys, oh my God. call into 8737, not 5737. I think I just solved this. For weeks, we've been having issues with the calls. Okay. We couldn't well, figure it out. Okay, well. I can't tell you how good this feels. Okay, I'm having a well. party in my heart right now <laughs> just because you look like a total ding dong. Okay, well. <laughs> But it also hurts me to see you like. Yeah, you and know. you're really good at running the phones. <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, skating parties. You were talking about couple dancing. The, how easy is it to skate with someone else, like as a dance? It, it seems like a nightmare. I don't know. How <laughs> it to... is really tough. I feel like I don't know. I'm not a good skater. 
I you had to like use roller skates back then. You couldn't even use roller blades. That's way harder. I don't. I remember being way too young for anyone to want to ask me to dance at the roller skating parties. I think skates are way harder than blades. I'm gonna say it right now. Yeah, blades for Blades have like sure. a longer thing to like kind of. I don't know. Skates are terrifying. I I thought that skates helped because you had four. But, it, but it's a smaller area of, of wheelage, I feel like. So oh. you're like easier to slip around. I don't know why I'm moving my shoulders like this. You know. Our friend Jade in. does skating. Jade, if you're listening, you should call in at 713-526-8737. And if you're not Jade, you should call in at 713-526-8737. Talk to us about skating because we don't know what we're talking about here. <laughs> All right. Next kind of party. What else do you do? What else What goes on without the the, the when you're not roller skating? You've done pool parties, roller skating parties, theme parties, ABC parties. I went to a good party this year called Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. Uh, it was pretty good. I'd never been before. Did it you was... go to New Orleans? Did you do I it right? To, I did. To... I went to New Orleans. But I stayed out of the French Quarter, so it wasn't dirty. It wasn't risque. It was very family-friendly. <laughs> and you just, like, set up a little outdoor camp chair, and you just take your vodka, and you just drink all day. And it was like... <laughs> Met strangers. It was now, great. It was awesome. Is, is a parade a form of party, or is that a thing on its own? I'm sorry to keep getting into this conversation. No, no, I, just, I love I it. I want to know. I think it's definitely a party, and New Orleans, uh, Mardi Gras is a, a, whole, it's a party oh, for two weeks. New Orleans just is a party. Yeah, all the Mardi time. Mardi Gras or not, all that place time. is insanity. I'll admit it. I'm a bit of a stick in the mud when it comes to Mardi Gras, St. Patrick's Day. Think of I tomorrow. thought I was. <laughs> I thought I was until I went. I never wanted to go. I don't like crowds. Make me nervous. But I loved it. It was so much fun. I will try to go back every year. It was that much what fun. What changed your mind? I went. I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be. I did it. Like when you go like, on a regular, you know, bachelor party or whatever, bachelor party to New Orleans and you're in like the French dish quarter and it's just shoulder to shoulder and it's like the streets are wet with fun and <laughs> you have to just it just grows everywhere but you're it's in like the neighborhoods the streets the prey goes go down like neighborhood routes yeah and you set up your like little tent and you got your food and your cooler and it's just hanging out chill with friends we didn't even go into any bars the whole time there we just sat outside with friends drinking man that sounds so fun right on the, on the train tracks you put your... street bands playing and stuff like yeah. that like I love a street brass and band. And people throw you free, free junk, and I love free yeah. junk so much. How many necklaces did you get? Two, a thousand. three, a no, thousand. No, like my neck hurt. It was so much. You had to, you had to throw it away. It was awesome. I love getting things I don't deserve. That's yeah. my favorite. Part. <laughs> All right. So now you mentioned bachelorette parties. Have you been to some good ones, and have you been to some ones where you're like, you shouldn't marry him? No, oh, no. Like that? Uh, give us, give us yes. some highs and All of the above. Oh, no. Yes. All the, the same one? The first, <laughs> the first bachelorette party I ever went to, I had to throw, but I didn't know how to do that because I'd never been to one. What is that? Me. Oh, oh, throw the I had bag. to host it. <laughs> I had to host. I had the same question. Put it As on, someone who like talks about plan. partying all the time, like, what does throwing, throwing a party mean? I, <laughs> yeah. I had to plan it, but we were like 21, and we, I, no one Eef, ever gotten. Marion, too young. Right? Yeah. Um, they're still together, so, you know. What? Um, but I uh, tried to do it on the cheap, so I, instead mm -hmm. of buying all the decorations and the party games, I made them all myself. And instead of, you know, hiring real entertainment, I hired... The guys who live down the street. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hang on a second. You uh, know yep. the rules of what we can and can't say on the radio. I... How much can you tell us? What kind of entertainment did you hire the guys down And the how well for? did you know those guys? Or did you just walk up with a $100 bill and you're like, excuse me? And they're like, yes, hundred. we will do it. No, I was dating one of them. And the other one was his roommate. <laughs> and they played football. And they came and they um, sang and danced. And they got paid with. Did a you hire your boyfriend and his friend to be strippers? Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and they got pay they got paid in a handle of whiskey, and the girls all had thirty dollars in ones between them. So they uh, wish they got a hundred dollars. They wow. did not. Great. For sure not. <laughs> Way more sad than actual stripping. <laughs> uh, never mind. Uh, stripping's not sad. Uh, uh, okay, so now tell us about like the terrible bachelorette party. Or was that the terrible one? That sounds pretty no, good. No, that was yeah. I've only no, I've only been DIY to DIY till I die. <laughs> I've only been to good ones. And I had to I had to throw my sister in law's bachelorette party in a city I didn't live in, which there's a lot of awkwardness there because you don't want to throw it for your the person who's marrying your brother. Because a lot of the themes at bachelorette parties yeah. are 
you don't want to think about your brother. And <laughs> But I had to throw this because I'm a good sister-in-law. Aww. And it was in a city I didn't live in, so I had to do some Googling. What city? Uh, oh, Crystal Lake, Illinois. Shouts out. <laughs> the, the suburbs of, of Chicago. More like, like Crystal Lake. Crystal yeah. Lake. And I found somehow it was a pizza parlor, but at night they like pushed the red checker tablecloths away and turned it into an actual club. Like we danced in a in a cage overlooking like the pizza parlor floor. It was amazing. What? <laughs> Crystal Lake, Illinois. Is that what you called it? Yeah. We got to go. Okay, so wait, wait. <laughs> you're saying a dance on a cage. Is the pizza cage, chain. The it cage. is a chain pizza restaurant. What's that, it called? Oh, shoot. I don't know. My brother can tell you. Pizza? No. <laughs> yeah, I no, have it's like to a know. family-friendly pizza place, but at night it turns into... Uh, yes or no. This is a, a conversation from our last episode. Yes or two episodes ago. Yes or no animatronic band in this pizza place. <laughs> Zero. No. Darn it. Uh, no. <laughs> that would have That would have, yeah. I will, clothing, they set them to Justin Timberlake over Clothing <laughs> appeared to be optional based on, like, I don't I don't know. I, yeah. It, it was an ABP party. Anything but pizza. Okay, guys? No, there's no pizza. A lot of lemon drop shots. Uh, <laughs> a lot of, you know, dancing in cages and on poles and, you know. Look, I'll This sounds it. insane. Wait, where do the cages and poles go when the sh- the, the pizza place is normal? Oh, I the poles are used don't... to pop the pizza. Dough, you, know? <laughs> <laughs> you just don't look up and realize there's a cage above you. Like, when you're eating pizza, you don't even think to look up. Yeah, so what they do, I, I actually, I'm looking this up right now, and what they have is the cages are actually just ball pits, and once the <laughs> store closes, they release the floors and all the balls shoot everywhere. The balls go into these giant drains in the side yeah and, and then they just like get in there start dancing <laughs> and yeah that, i think it was a person directing get in there dance <laughs> you all have a good time all right so that sounds and was this a good one a bad one oh it was great she had a great time she said it was better than um one she'd been to in vegas and i was like i don't know how that's possible but okay that sounds yeah 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 so just, have you only thrown two only thrown you've thrown two bachelor two. parties yeah that is insane i i am I do not think I could throw a bachelor party. I am terrified of that. If so. Oh, man. Now I got to find a <laughs> oh, best geez. man. No, no, no. You like Just water kidding. parks, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Now, I, I, if you want to be my best man, please call in. <laughs> uh, our number is 713-526-8737. Let's uh, see if we got a call. You've okay. checked it in a Get long time. Get it a call? Yeah, give it a check. Give it a check. No one wants to be my best man. No, it was a Tibetan throat singer that was calling just now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that sounds like a really fun time. I've never been to a bachelor party. Really? Do you yeah. have any friends who are married? I just didn't invite you. I know. I, <laughs> yeah, I, met, I don't have any good friends. <laughs> I met people who got married. I've been invited to one, and I couldn't make it. And I'm supposed to be the best man at a wedding in Vegas, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it. So. What? You gotta make it. We'll see. We'll Just see. take an Uber up there. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta work. I gotta get plane tickets. I gotta find you gotta a F and Rager every Monday at 8 p.m. Ned, on KPF 2 HD2. I've never been to a bachelor party parties? now that I'm thinking about it. I have. Wait, have I been to a bachelorette party? I think I did. Wait. Is it a wedding shower? No, it was one of those things where it's like, this is a bachelorette party, but you can come and hang out. You look like you have something to say. I do. Okay, so I was invited to my cousin's bachelor party in New Orleans, uh-huh. and I was all set to go, and then they released the itinerary, and the bride-to-be was having the bachelorette party in New Orleans the same weekend, and they said, so on Friday, we're just going to hang out, and then Friday night, we're just all going to get together and hang out, and then Saturday, we're all going to hang out, and then on Saturday night, we're all going to get together and hang, 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 and hang out, and I thought that was really dumb, <laughs> and I did not want to, ha- no offense to my female cousins who were like, my cousin. Whose idea that wasn't his. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, great. Yeah, we can totally hang oh, out. Oh, sounds here. good. Yeah, how convenient. We're all in the same city. I mean, if they didn't all meet up, they were going to regardless. Like, they're yeah, all in the, on the same ride home. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, they all rode up together. Yeah, they rode up together. They rode back together. It, what, what's the point? Like, I just want to spend my last remaining days of the bachelor with the woman of my dreams. Loser. You're a friggin' loser, man. <laughs> And you married a wonderful woman. My cousin. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Hey, congratulations. Shouts out. Yeah. I. Uh, you know what? Now that I'm saying it out loud, they're better off that I didn't go to that bachelor party because I would have been talking about that the whole time. Or having a wonderful time. You don't know that. Mm. It's New Orleans. It's a wonderful place. Yeah. <laughs> By all accounts. I don't know. <laughs> all right, Alyssa. Let's say Honor. you got to throw your own bachelorette party. No, you got to throw bachelor parties for me and Ned. Yeah, we're, we're getting married to each sister. other. Yeah. Oh. 
<laughs> All right. Well, we're getting married, and yeah. you got to throw our bachelor party. You got a couple of minutes. Tell us how it is. What are you gonna do? We're gonna get a few cans of pop. Yes. And we're gonna play this weird game you guys are talking about. Wait, which weird the game? The one you make puns. Oh, oh, whiplash. whiplash. Ooh, yeah. Okay. It's not all puns, guys. <laughs> And uh, you're gonna eat cake till you both throw up. Okay. And um, ooh, but I want to do this somewhere exotic, some sort of destination bachelor party. I almost said bachelorette. <laughs> uh, how about Crystal Lake, Illinois? Oh yes, Fanta- <laughs> actually yes, yes, absolutely yes. Place. I would love. Can to you find there. the name of that place out? Because I, I, I have yes. to know. Yeah. Right. It's actually um, my brother's a prosecutor up there. It's like the number one DUI spot. <laughs> <laughs> like leaving this believe it or not it's only the guys who deliver pizza I don't know if that comes to shocker or not <laughs> all right well uh unfortunately we're gonna have to wrap things up uh but Alyssa, thank you so much for coming on the yeah, show. Thank you it's so been much. an absolute pleasure thank you for having me i think it's been a bit of a rager and let me tell you if that is how you would throw our bachelor party whether we're marrying sisters or each other we're gonna have a really great time <laughs> absolutely all right now ned before we actually Alyssa, before we let you go do you have anything you'd like to plug anything that you're doing no all right <laughs> guys come out to the moth sometimes you're not, you're you'll not, probably see her you're not no. fighting any celebrity cases or anything like that no i don't i don't do that oh okay all righty well ned we've got something to plug yeah f and ragers coming up this tuesday tomorrow uh as well as every second tuesday of the month at pj sports bar 8 p.m pay what you can once again if you see us beforehand we'll give you free tickets Ah, uh, yes all right Well, Ned, uh, again, our guests tomorrow are going to be John Wayne Kaminale and Ruth Hirsch, and we hope to see everybody at the FN Rager at PJ's tomorrow night at 8 p.m. All right. Bye, y'all. Keep on raging.